Disney has just come out with a brand new trailer for their new version of The Lion King. And we're going to check it out. Now, Disney has been in the habit recently of releasing a whole lot of movies and putting out a whole lot of trailers. And I don't know if you've noticed the pattern that I have that a lot of them are either remakes of classic movies or sequels. Well, they're kind of continuing that tradition and they've just, they're working on a brand new version of The Lion King. Now, Lion King is actually one of my favorite movies, so I really love the original. And so I'm kind of looking forward to seeing this trailer and you're going to get to see it with me here. I'm going to have it up in the corner here and hopefully it'll all work out and we'll be able to enjoy it together. So let's check it out. Okay, it looks like a pretty good savanna view there. Everything the light touches so is our King kingdom. Jones voice. But a king's time as ruler rises and falls like the sun. Hey, One day, look. the sun will set on my time here and will rise with you as the new king. Okay, so my first couple thoughts here. I was not a big fan of the live-action Jungle Book. Uh, of course, it was pretty much all CGI except for the one actor. And as I'm sitting here thinking, I'm looking at this, it looks like they're trying to give it a realistic view. And it's obviously all CGI because you're not going to get that many real wild animals to do this. So I'm kind of hesitant right off the bat a little bit. We're going to kind of... Continue the trailer here and see if they're doing something different with the movie. Although those first notes kind of have me wondering. So let's see what's next. That's all the classic scene. Exact same thing, except modern computer animation. In our soon to credits, um, Beyonce. Remember. Okay, so. You kind of have to have James Earl Jones because he's known for that. But um, I have to admit, I'm not real excited or impressed. Um, at this point, I don't see anything different other than it's CGI animation instead of hand-drawn like the original. Looks like the exact same opening scene, practically, with the same song and... Okay, I mean, if we're going to do this, Disney, I, I I almost feel like we're doing the same kind of thing where we did The Jungle Book, and we did Alice in Wonderland, and we did Beauty and the Beast, and my wife loved Alice in Wonderland. Um, I really enjoyed Beauty and the Beast. I think all of us did. Jungle Book was, eh, but what's going to be different about this besides the animation? I don't know. I, I'm like, why do I want to see the same thing just drawn differently? It Okay. How can I put this? Disney has really seemed like it has been stuck in a rut lately. And this, at this point in time, really looks like they're really digging into the rut. Uh, if you think about almost every Disney movie that has come out in the last two years, three years, four years, every single one of them pretty much has been either a sequel or a remake. Um, correct me, please, in the comments below. Can you think of an original Disney movie in the last few years? Pixar is still coming out with some originals, and then, of course, Marvel and Star Wars, but the Disney brand movies themselves, 
I can't think of anything original in the last few years. And I mean, even Pixar, they okay, we've got Toy Story 4 coming out, uh, Wreck It Ralph. Um, and that doesn't mean that there isn't, it isn't a good thing to do sequels and remakes, but we need some original stuff too. And, and I don't know, it just this little bit, I don't understand the point of this other than to milk an old franchise and try to get money. I know, isn't that a terrible thing? I don't want to sound that way. I don't want to be negative about this. I want to be excited because I love the original, but I'm like, why are we changing the original? Beauty of the Beast, at least, when they changed it from animation to live actors, it was with real people. So you could actually get a real range of emotions. and So there was at least enough difference there. But even then, if you think about it, outside of a, a couple songs, it was almost exactly the same thing, just with people. Well, you can't even get that. So, it... Boy, Disney, I really hope you prove me wrong on this, but this seems like a totally pointless remake. I don't know. Um, not excited. There's other things I'm interested in seeing. I haven't seen Wreck-It Ralph 2 yet. I'm looking forward to that. I am definitely looking forward to Mary Poppins Returns here. Uh, that's opening up in a couple weeks as I record this. Both sequels, obviously, but you know, both still original in their sequality. Sequality, there's a new word for you. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't see anything at this point with this. At, at this point, I almost feel like this is kind of falling into the same realm as Dumbo. Um, and I hope I get proved wrong on Dumbo. But Dumbo does not look like it's going to be terribly original either, except with people and CGI again. I don't know. I'm I'm not impressed. I feel like we're going back to the Disney of the 80s where they had very little original and it's showing up in the parks, it's showing up in the movie production. I don't know. It, it's like going back to the end of the Eisner era. Not a place I'd want to be, Disney. Let's see if we can get something new going. And, and again, hopefully I will get proven wrong with this, but not a real impressive one at this point i hope it, it looks great it looks fantastic as far as the quality the but but as far as the point and originality goes we'll see what's your comments i'd love to hear them please share them in the comments below i'd, I'd love to hear your feedback and thoughts maybe i am completely and totally off base on this one and i really really hope i am it would not be the first time that's for sure but I would love to hear your opinions, your thoughts, your views, and if you think that it's going to be great, if you think it's going to be terrible, if you're kind of going to kind of take a wait and see, which that's kind of where I'm inclined, but I'm, I'm very skeptical and hesitant. So we'll see how it look, works out. Let me hear your views. I'd love to hear back from you. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for my patrons for supporting. And hey, be sure to check out the description below for all the links to the fan pages, merchandise, Reddit, and, and all that stuff too. Thank you so much. If you want to know whenever I have a new video out, well, hey, make sure you hit that button right there and subscribe. If you want to see another video right now, well, I've got a great one right here for you. And if you want to be like these wonderful people here and help support me financially on Patreon, well, check out that link right there and it'll take you to it. Thanks so much and God bless.